190 yards. That's the longer course. Number three, Oshkosh Vane from the Thunderbird Kennel has had one show in two attempts so far this season. There's number four, Dome Fever from the Don Lehman Kennel. Has been out once so far, got bumped in the escape turn, and came in seven. So if he can stay out of trouble, maybe better tonight. Number five, old Mark Duper. I love it, old Mark Duper. Somebody you just know already, don't you? Named old Mark Duper from the Bill Rice Kennel. Here's the big favorite. All the handicappers pick number six, Oshkosh Vanity from the Thunderbird Kennel. That's where the Oshkosh Greyhounds live, and they've done well. Number seven, Yukon Silver from the Nelly Leg Kennel has one place in two attempts, but finished ninth last time out. There's number eight, Coldwater Sybil from the Bill Rice Kennel. That color, you notice, it's uh, called Brindle. There are certain names for certain colors in Greyhound Racing, and that's the Brindle color. And right behind is number nine. That's Sissy Baker uh, from the Richard Moran Kennel in the number nine blanket with the X on it. And even though it looks kind of dark on your screen, that color officially is blue. The Greyhound is considered to be blue. That's not sad, that's blue. And as the Greyhounds approach the starting gate here for uh, the fifth event, again, a grade B race over the Multnomah course, 690 yards. The betters as we go to the post here, Hal. Like uh, number seven, number six, and number four. Number seven, Yukon Silver. Number six, Oshkosh Vanity from that Thunderbird Kennel. And number four, Dome Fever from the Don Lehman Senior Kennel. So we'll see what happens here again. This is going to be run over the Multnomah course, 690 yards, a grade B race. And, you know, Oshkosh Vanity, number six, the big favorite, is really just a pup and came here racing grade double D, moved on up to grade C by winning the first time out, then won the first race in grade C and moved on up to grade B. So could be a star being born here early in the season in Oshkosh Vanity, number six. There's the signal, and there they go. Well, Oshkosh Vanity kind of gets caught in the pack, getting to the front, looks like number nine, Sissy Baker. And out in front is number four as they come around the turn, Dome Fever. And they all spread out going down the front stretch. Boy, that's really going to be something when they come around the back stretch again. They get all lined out. We can see exactly who's who. There's number four, Dome Fever, in the lead. And as we get a little closer, we can see it's number eight, Coldwater Sybil. And here comes number six, Oshkosh Vanity from out of the pack. Oshkosh Vanity in third place now, trying to get around, but... I'm afraid Coldwater Sybil cut her off. Can she do it? There's number six now trying to get around. Number eight does, but it's too late. Number four, Dome Fever is the winner. Number six, Oshkosh Vanity comes in second. And it looked like number eight, Coldwater Sybil, came in third. But we'll have to wait get the official results from the judges. And the betters knew what they were talking about here in race number five as that number four Greyhound, Dome Fever, came across with flying colors, paid $12 to win. $5.80 to place and $4.40 to show the number six Greyhound Oshkosh Vanity again finishing in the money for that Thunderbird Kennel. $4 to place, $3.20 to show and the number eight Greyhound Cold Water Sybil paid $4.80 to show. And if you bet the Quinella had the 4-6 combination, it paid $33 even. A trifecta, 4 6 eight. if you picked them in just that order, the $2 ticket paid $425 even and the $1 trifecta box paid just half that, $212.50. Time on that race was 39.60, 39.60. And as we watch the instant replay, uh, John McClay, a good race for that number four Greyhound Dome Fever. Uh, after the jump, a little uh, bump had going on there, but it got a good lead out there, and it was all the way home free after that. The key was about 40 yards out of the box. Number nine, Greyhound Sissy Baker almost made the move of the night, slashing across the field right here. Good early jump, slashes across the field. The four Greyhound hadn't established anything at this point in time. Number eight slides in right behind Sissy Baker as Sissy Baker clears the way. Right here, it appears Sissy Baker is going to cut off Greyhound number four. Number four says, no, 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 no. I'm going to establish myself on the rail. And it did so, and that made the difference of the win. Win number two for trainer David Causey tonight. Number six, Oshkosh Vanity, is last, dead last, and just now moved into eighth place. Good call, Hal. Keep your eye on that Greyhound, especially going down the back stretch, as so many Oshkosh Greyhounds do, a strong finisher. The program shows a little early speed, a little late speed, not much early in this case, but got on the rail and did just exactly what it's supposed to. At this point in time, number nine had gotten to the rail where it wanted to right out of the box, but it did not cut off the rest of the field and wasn't able to hang on. Number eight, however, 
and it followed the nine out of the box, establishes itself in second place, and is going to run the number four Greyhound, a good dog race here. Coming through the escape turn, not too many problems, especially towards the front of the pack. These are grade B Greyhounds. That means when you win, you go up into grade A competition, and they all slide through quite nicely. Number six, the favorite, Oshkosh Vanity, stayed on the rail there and was still in eighth place when they came around the turn, but now it's starting to move. That's right, Hal. Puts it in high gear going down the back stretch, and you can see that dog just close ground. Uh, the, the dog in second place is starting to shorten up just a little bit. Number six is, I love it. Coming through the far turn, the, the number four Greyhound is not going to be beaten tonight no matter what happens. Establish itself early, and that's that. Here's number six sliding through on the rail. A good Greyhound move in the far turn. It looks like number eight won't let a buy right now. It might have been a closer race at the wire. That's right. That's right. You can't hold that number six Greyhound off, though. He's coming home, and had it been a little bit closer in the beginning, might have given the four Greyhound a run, but not tonight. And there is the number four Greyhound, Dome Fever, finishing first. Number six, Oshkosh Vanity on the rail, came from way behind to finish second. It was a pre-race favorite. And number eight, Coldwater Sybil, after running second most of the race, had to settle for third with Oshkosh.